My name is Matt Schaudig. I'm the director and VFX supervisor of the short film project Kage, which is Japanese for shadow. Kage is my VFX diploma project here at Animation Institute of Film Academy Baden-Württemberg. And I'm very excited to give you a sneak peek into our current state of the project. We just wrapped shooting and are starting with post-production. Growing up with karate, I always wanted to do a martial arts film. And like many of us, I'm also quite familiar with the concept of fighting against yourself or experiencing an inner conflict. We tell the story of a young samurai training on a remote mountaintop in midst of a ruined feudal dojo. Failing to find balance, he won't stop pushing himself until when losing his temper, he attacks his own shadow. But to his surprise, his shadow fights back and draws Taka into a vicious fight he cannot win. To avoid ending up with a way bigger VFX workload that we can handle in post, we did a precise planning and quite directly went from script over beatmatic, animatic and previous to the final film. Doing this, we went through countless iterations to be able to tell this story in this short format which was quite challenging, but including my editor Bastian Faralisch early in the development process was very helpful. Taka is a ronin, a lone wandering samurai in his mid-twenties. And although we want to have an authentic depiction of a samurai, we wanted him to feel relatable for today's audience. There are two very common images from samurai pop culture, but we wanted to share an authentic Sengoku depiction and went into research. Christina Narata did the first concept arts for Taka. And Krishna Damat went into costume design research and designed an authentic Sengoku costume. Taka's costume is based on a Sengoku period typical silhouette of a lightly armored samurai of lower rank. It fits the military fashion of compact forms, which also were popular in the higher samurai classes. All elements of the costume have been carefully designed to fit the set design and color theme, continuously being aged and keep historical authenticity throughout the film. A big challenge was the antagonist, Taka's shadow, bringing him into three-dimensional space without losing the feeling of a shadow. Early on it was clear that we did not want to make this a creature VFX project, so we tried to find a hybrid solution where we create a practical foundation to polish it with VFX. We did many different body painting and morph suit VFX tests and went with using Nuke's copycat AI rotoscoping tool. Since the morph suit really changed the skull and face shape of the character, it seemed to be unusable for the head. We also needed to use a hairpiece to make the shadow silhouette look exactly as the protagonist wants. While body painting doesn't cover the eyes and colored contact lenses were not an option due to stunt safety reasons, we had Desiree Schober developing a hybrid, partly morph suit, partly makeup, shadow SFX makeup solution for the eyes to keep the skull geometry intact while still providing a good base for copycat to pick up the silhouette for rotoscoping. Action is a big part of the film since it's a literal depiction of an inner conflict, an inner fight as an actual martial arts samurai fight. And it was partly inspired by Akiro Kurosawa's cinematic and Norio Matsumoto's anime stagings. To build on top of an authentic samurai background, we have been consulted by Ide Rusetsu from Tenshin Ryu Hyoho Batujutsu, who earlier also did consulting and motion capturing for Sucker Punch's game Ghost of Tsushima. Then 
The early fight previous was created with Jackie Chan's stunt team member Li Huang and his team. Eskindir Tesfaye took these concepts and recreated and finalized the choreography with the cast. Let's dive into the world where our story takes place. I created concepts for the world building a remote mountaintop with a dojo rune, and stage designer Matthias Kammermeier took this idea and turned it into a buildable room concept. After recreating the concept arts in Unreal Engine 5, we did tests at the Film Academy during their set extension workshop and set our decision to shoot the intro and outro with virtual production. The extended scene consists out of an HDRI sky with mountains and trees from the Quixel library and fog cards. Later, we checked our environment and some other specific elements in the Hyperbowl studio prior to shooting and noted where we had to make some final adjustments to our scene. When the shadow steps out of its silhouette to confront Taka, we switch into Taka's inner world and move the setting into a dark void. Julian Dünser created an in-engine transition shader. So we filmed the change of the setting into and out of the dark void, also in the virtual production studio. The second part was filmed in Film Academy's Albrecht Ade studio with the exact same stage design layout. The challenge was matching both worlds, so it really seems like just the environment around the mountain changes. The early idea was to push the current state of Unreal Engine as alternative for traditional offline rendering pipelines, sort of as a case study aspect. We still have three full CG environment shots, where we combine live action with a full CG environment, created and fully rendered with Unreal Engine. In our tests we used the Unreal Reader plugin and set up a live link between an Unreal Cine Camera actor and a Nuke Unreal Reader node, which worked great for blocking. It's quite helpful to have a big chunk of VFX already done in pre-production and moving into post-production with great working scenes from the LED studio. Even though we had some trouble setting up the frustum with our anamorphic Toho scope lens setup and the Niagara-based shader gave us new performance optimization challenges, we are happy with the outcome and not having to shoot everything in front of green really boosts our schedule in post. The remaining VFX tasks in post-production are 2D shadow compositing in scenes where the shadow is desynchronized from our protagonist, as well as its transition into the three-dimensional realm. We need to make the shadow in 3D look more silhouette using Nuke's copycat AI rotoscoping tool. The hero shots should work and look great, and we want to add a little bit more drama into the fight. We are aiming to finish this film later this year in mid-September and we'll submit it to international film festivals before releasing it to the public. There are around 30 VFX shots, 12 of higher effort and 18 simpler ones. Grading, sound design and music happens parallel to VFX. So stay tuned and follow at Kagefilm on Instagram. Also follow at Animationsinstitut on Instagram to not miss the future release of the film. I would love if you watch the film once it's finished. So, on behalf of the whole Kage team, I would like to thank you for your interest in our project. And now, I wish you an amazing remaining time at FMX. Arigato gozaimasu and see you soon.